Okay, so here we are now with a new experiment. I've just gotten hold of a CC3000. It's a Wi-Fi Arduino shield. Um, it's a self-contained um, TCP IP Wi-Fi shield, so um, there's only minimal code that needs to be done in order to make it work. I've also had a cheap um, LCD, um, 2.5 inch LCD. So what this um, experiment does is it basically tries to get weather information from the internet through openweathermap.com and um, the Nucleo board here is responsible for displaying the current um, weather conditions in Singapore at the same time it's also trying to get the readings out from this um, very low cost um, temperature and humidity sensor HT11 and um, other than that I have some running LED lights here which are being controlled by this um, I squared C chip an IO expander like uh, what I've explained before and from the nuclear chip there's also an SD card that I've attached uh, to the, um, the the LCD has an, an SD card um, reader attached to it so I'm utilizing that the Nucleo board itself actually utilizes the three SPI um, connections. The first one being utilized by the CC3000. The second one is utilized by the um, LCD, and the third one is um, sorry. First one is for the CC3000. The second one is utilized by the SD card, which also uses the SPI to to read and write to this SD card right here. And the third one, the third SPI port is actually being used by the LCD. So there's three SPIs. And actually the CC3000 also has its own SD card reader, which is connected to SPI1, the same SPI um, bus as the CC3000. But I did, I did not utilize it because um, if you try reading from the SD card here at the same time while you're transmitting, you would corrupt data. So that's one of the reasons why I I don't intend to use this um, SD card reader here. So what does this application do? So again, um, going back, the CC3000 actually contains uh, maintains our connection to the internet. It gets information from Open Weather Map, and then the Open Weather Map actually will give you a JSON JSON file format, which is then interpreted by our nuclear board here to display the current weather conditions in Singapore. Now the temperature that you see here is not actually is not is not taken from the from the internet, but rather from the temperature and better um and I, how do you call this um humidity sensor sorry, so you'll see the humidity sensor being displayed here, and the dew point being calculated by the nuclear board. It says twenty three point something Celsius. 70% humidity and 30 degrees 30 degrees Celsius currently. So what um, what information do we get from open open weather map? Um, we on, I only get the the weather conditions. Not sure if you can see that one right. So right now Singapore has broken clouds or overcast conditions. So that text is actually taken from the internet from from open weather map. The icon is also being generated automatically if we get um, that information from Open Weather Map also. So going into let me try just let me just try to reset this one a bit. Um, also, with this setup, I have one switch here, which this is actually a boot switch. If I press this while pressing the reset reset button, it will actually go into a shell. So let me try to do that now holding this thing and pressing reset it will actually get me into a shell which will show up on our computer screen the shell is actually um, it's actually a command line shell so there we have it that's the shell let's embed our shell I can load some commands in here like for example, if I want to display the a load image, for example, oh sorry, okay, um, I can type info to get the status of um, the board. It will give me the current build date and time, and the available memory that is running on my nuclear board. 
I can also do um, load if I want to load an image from the SD card I can do that by the load command let's say power that BMP enter and you'll see that one being loaded on the LCD screen so it reads up um, the BMP file from the SD card right here and displays it on the SD sorry on the LCD screen there's also another uh, a bunch of commands that I that I've created if you type help for example I'll show you the list of commands I have role what this one does is it tries to um, find all the images on the SD card and try to display them one at a time so let's try running that so as you see it's loading um, some images from the SD card and that's a picture of me and my wife and so on so it tries to find all the images from the SD card and display it on the LCD screen okay so that's basically it uh, on my next blog I will try to show you how I created um, this setup and I will also give you a link to where the source code is so that you can perhaps maybe modify it and apply it into your own projects that's all for now thank you